me and in this video I'm going to be talking about kind of how I got into hamsters and kind of why I started liking them and that in general. So first, it might be a little bit echoey because I'm moving around stuff in my room and you can see a hamster cage is behind me and it's out of the closet. And this weekend I'm going to get stuff to build a lid and I'm going to build a lid on like Saturday. So that will be wonderful and then I'll probably move Echo back in here, hopefully like on Monday or Sunday or something like that. And also, um, my little sister does have a hamster too if you don't know, and that's just this bin cage up here. So I really want to get Echo back in my room and I'm just finally doing that and I still need to paint this wood white. Yeah, this is just going to be like a talky video. You can go do other stuff in another tab if you want to listen, if you don't want to listen. You can go away and not watch this, it's up to you. But I'll try to show as many like little clips and pictures and stuff on the screen to make it interesting as well. So starting off first in general, like I've, growing up, I've never really known really what hamsters were. Like you hear of like hamster, but you don't really like think about hamsters that much. And I never knew anybody who had a hamster. So I'd never like seen a hamster before. When I thought of a hamster, I basically thought of like a Syrian hamster, like a big hamster, you know, just kind of like the classic like orangey type coloring that you see that like beware of the hamster picture of. Like that is what I thought of when I thought of a hamster and that was it. And I always thought they were like mean and weird and pointless and stuff like that. So doing YouTube and being in the pet community, there were some people who kind of like had hamsters that I saw occasionally but I never subscribed to any hamster people because I wasn't interested and like I stumbled upon Hopping Hammy like a long time ago and Chocolate Colors 26 a couple times I just saw a hamster video and I just kind of went away and even in a QA, and a I did not this past September this September before so like a year and a half ago I did a Q&A and there was a question asking if I like hamsters and I said no asked, what do you think of what do you think about rodents, like hamsters, mice, etc? Um, I don't know if I'd ever get one. I don't really like them. If you could have any other small pet apart from a bunny, what would it be? If I could, I probably wouldn't. If I, like, had to get one, I've seen those questions before. If I, like, had to get one, i probably get a hamster. But I won't get a hamster. <laughs> and literally, like, two weeks after that video, I stumbled upon Jackie Killer's 26 channel again. I saw she had a rabbit video, was like her newest video, and it said like all my bunny supplies or something. So I'm like, oh, she has a bunny? So I kind of like went through her videos and saw she had a rabbit. And back then, what I did when I found a channel that I liked is I would download their whole channel because I had like this video downloader because we didn't have internet, so I downloaded like every YouTube video and watched it at home. But yeah, with the downloader, you can just copy the channel link and paste it and it downloads all the channel's videos. So I did that with her channel and so I ended up ending the download just when I saw it got to like when she first got her bunny. And going home that week watching videos, I started watching all her bunny videos and I saw she had some hamster videos and I happened to watch a couple of them and I wasn't that interested but then I saw Pop-Tart and back then she had a little Russian Campbell hybrid named Pop-Tart and I thought he was just the cutest thing ever. He was so adorable and he would like climb up the bin cage and I was just like I didn't know there was hamsters like that. I didn't know there about dwarf hamsters. So I started watching her videos and watching some more and then I went to the library. I downloaded the rest of her channel and watched all of her hamster videos. And basically after that, I kind of grew to liking hamsters a lot, and I wanted one at that point. From there, I found Hopping Hammy again and downloaded all of her videos and watched all of them and then watched like all of Hammy Luxes and Sparkle Girl Zero Zeros and Aaron's Animals and just like everybody there is. And basically from watching videos, you learn pretty much all you need for hamsters just from videos I found at least. When I found Hopping Hammy, I saw Ginger Snap and I thought Ginger Snap was just the even more adorable, cutest little thing ever and that's what made me learn about Robo Hamsters which made me settle on like Robos are my favorite <laughs> and I want to get a Robo. So then in my head I was planning everything out, how I could do it, money, 
supplies, stuff. The only problem was the um, parents. So I had all these plans in my head since like October, November time and I didn't end up asking my parents till January and I had everything planned and I was really nervous but I ended up asking, of course they said no at first, but I asked quite a few times more and within like three days they said okay sure it's your room it's your money so they said yes so then I ended up buying stuff and coming up with cage ideas and I ended up coming up with this cage idea which took me a while to build so yeah I bought supplies I did everything and I set up the cage and everything and I just waited until we were able to go to PetSmart to get a hamster because I looked on I looked other places there was no like local pet store back then we lived an hour and a half from like place where there was like PetSmart and Petco and like place stores like that. So I had to wait until it was a time where we were gonna go there. So fast forwarding to March, we needed a new car and we ended up finding the a minivan in the same city. So that was an hour and a half away, so we ended up going to get the car. So my mom's like, wait, why don't you just get your hamster now instead of like in two weeks when we were planning to go? So I was Super excited that I got to go early, so we went to PetSmart. When I got there, there was there was one pied robo there that was a little bit older and bigger, and then there was a, like eight head spot robos, just like Echo. And when there's eight tiny little robo hamsters running around, the woman there didn't let me like go in the back and like put my hand in. I didn't really ask, but I was just kind of like meh. So I ended up just picking one because I didn't really know and of course I wanted a robo none of the hamsters like made me change my mind because I like wanted a robo and didn't want anything else so I ended up taking the robo home and naming her Echo I thought that was a very cool name and now I have Echo still she is around one and a half years old now pretty much she's in a bin cage upstairs right now but I'm gonna be moving her in this soon and yeah, as for hamsters in the future, I will probably never have two hamsters at a time. I don't want any more hamsters. And after Echo, I really don't know as of now what I will do if I get another one. But when I just see little robos in the pet store, it's just mm, so cute. Yeah, anyway guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this talky video of me telling a story. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast, and I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.